famous trials in the 1930s. In the early 1930s, life for a black American was very difficult as every problem that happened was blamed on them. Most blacks had really bad jobs, such as cleaning white men's shoes and farming. Blacks often got different trials. For example, 70% of them who had killed a white person got the death penalty, but only 15% of them who had killed a black person got the death penalty. Of people convicted, 82% of people had been executed for murder for a white person. Only 1.8% of white people convicted of killing a minority have been executed. While minorities make up more than half of all homicides, this clearly shows that life is not easy, yet impossible, for a black man to be successful. Most of the cases were about white women being raped by black men, and a lot of them were false accusations. Emmett Till Emmett Till, a black 14-year-old boy from Chicago, was visiting relatives in a town of Money, Mississippi, population about 360. Although warned by his mother not to talk to whites, he discarded her and allegedly saying bye baby to Caroline Bryant, a white woman working at Bryant's groceries and meat market. Hill and his cousin, Curtis Jones, were told to leave town. They did not. One week later, J.W. Dillon and his half-brother Roy Bryant arrived at Moss Wright's house and abducted Emmett. They beat him to death and dumped his body into the Tallahatchie River. An all-white jury found the two men non-guilty at first. Local whites as well as blacks were horrified by the crime. The Scottsboro Boys the Scottsboro Boys were nine black teenage boys accused of rape in Alabama in 1931. No crime in American history, let alone a crime that never occurred, produced as many trials, convictions, reversals, and retrials as did the Scottsboro trial. They were all found guilty and were sent to the death row to be executed in the electric chair. The whole case took 18 years. Out of the two women who said who accused them of rape, one of the women took back her statement and said it never happened. The judge still found them guilty, but after the Supreme Court looked at the case, one by one they were let out. But it took 18 years before the last one was let out. How did the trials affect the public? The public cared about the trials, but they never cared about the blacks who were killed in them. They followed the trials carefully, but never did anything because they were scared. The public was devastated about Emma Till's murder and thought it was disgusting, but never did anything about it because at the time the whites were always right and they were scared to get prosecuted themselves. What did this say about racism? Racism in 1930s was a huge problem even though it didn't seem as a problem back then. Racism really made life hard for the blacks, but the whites never cared because they thought they were supreme to the blacks. The whites thought that the blacks were not equal to the whites only because of their skin color.